I can't go through here until I <laughs> defeat Mole Knight. That place looks really cool. I love the theming in this. I mean, each of these dungeons, I have so far, I haven't ran into a dungeon where I I'm like, oh man, you know, I really don't want to go into this one. They've all been awesome, which which is really good. I like that. Hall of Champions. Let's see what that is. What's Hall of Champions? Hopefully it's not a boss fight. It doesn't look like it is. Uh, what is Peacock Knight think? Uh, Ticketer. This is the Hall of Champions, a living monument to the founders of this great land. Admission for one? That will be 5,000 gold, please. No way. Oh, well, I understand. The arts can't expect real support from peasants. Yeah, I'm not giving you 5,000 gold. I got other things I can spend that on. Um, and looks like there's a map or something down there, but we can't actually get to it yet. So, uh, let's go into the town. Armor Outpost. I wonder if that means I sell armor. Uh, what do you have to say? Wallace, our scouts saw your approach, and we know of your quest. This is the Armor Outpost. The brave are holed up here, deep in enemy territory. It's dangerous. Get equipped. Let's talk to... Oh, they, they just left. They just left. Oh, I can talk to the deer person, though. Dear lady. Oh, dear. <laughs> Dreadfully sorry, but I have no time to converse at the moment. What about you? Lady Knight. If you cross paths on the road, you must battle. Those are the rules. Oh, really? Knight. You say chivalry. I say chi chivalry. Live and let live, brother. <laughs> um, bag fellow. Is that a shovel? What happened to your sword, Sir Knight? <laughs> oh, you're so funny, bag person. What about you? Villager, the armor will hold on to any armor you buy and will let you swap them out whenever you want. So that's useful. Uh, can we actually go into the buildings? No? Okay, so there's a note up there that I want to get. What do you have to say? Fisherman with treasure knight thwarted, me timbers are shivered. I tearfully thank, uh, thank ye with lips all a quiver. Nice. So, we are talking to Mr. Toad, and Mr. Toad says, I'm so grumpy, I'm just not in a good mood. I wish someone could cheer me up. Shovel Knight. Well, okay, I'll give it a shot. Um? Uh? <laughs> okay, guys, which one do I pick? Um or uh? <laughs> uh? I'll go with um, I guess. Why would they just leave the catapult unattended? The operator is out to launch! He didn't, he, did, he didn't like that one. He didn't like that one. Oh, no, 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 come back here. Come back here. Okay, let's try again. I'm so grumpy, I'm just not in a good mood. I wish someone could cheer me up. Okay, okay. Why didn't the snow wolves make any sound? They don't know how. Oh, uh, oh. Uh. No, he didn't, he didn't like that one either. Okay, let's try again. Try again. Okay. Um... Let's choose, uh, instead this time. Um, uh, have you heard the gastronomer is starting to cook with bullion? I tried some, but my soup was gold. Uh, no. No. He didn't like that one either. Okay, that, that, that's fine. <laughs> okay, how do we get up there? So there's a music note, and there's a ladder. Can we jump on this? Ooh, we can, but then where do we go? Hmm. Can we? Oh, there we are. Secret area. Nice. Okay, so um, let's see if we can get the music. No, 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 no. Careful, careful. Okay. Ah, because we can't jump off the ladder. Dang. Can I jump on top of her head? No. Oh well. Merry sweets. Oh, that King Knight. He's so regal. Such a refined fashion sense. But honestly, I'd rather be your queen. Uh, what about you? Lady Knight, if you cross paths on the road, you must battle. Oh yeah, that's right. We already talked with her about that. Uh, what's over here to the left? Oh, who are you? Mr. <laughs> He's just called Mr. Hat. Ah, hats, my greatest passion. Nothing I enjoy more than the crisp snap of a well-tailored brim. Nope, oh, have the wrong key. Okay. Cool. So he really likes his hats. What about you? Peacock Gent with my... That's a dude, huh? 
With my vast riches, I could buy this whole store, but I forgot my wallet. <laughs> oh, upstanding knight, you could part with a paltry thousand gold, no? No, I couldn't. Peacock Gent, surely you're in a uh, similar situation, friend. You forgot your wallet too, yes? Yeah, sure, that's it. Leo, I buy only the best, and for my latest purchase, unfortunately, I'm only a thousand gold short. No. Not enough to loan me, eh? Come now, sir. I assure you I'm good for it. No, no way, dude. No way. What about you? Dolly. Oh, such a charming beret. If only I had the means to afford it. All I need is a mirror. No. No, definitely not. Sai, such a lovely piece. I can't live without it. Yeah. Sheesh. Oh, man. Everyone's trying to scam me. Um, what is... Oh, I guess that's everything in here. Is there really nothing else to, to see? Oh, that was the end of the, the town then, I guess. That was pretty short. All right, well, that's fine. Uh, let's see if we can get up into the armory, which looks like it's in a floating... Uh, so, oh, that's... Okay, hold on, hold on. I just figured out what that was. So, see? It's a blimp. There, there's a blimp floating above the, uh, above the town there. That's what the ladder is to. Ah, here, see? Look at this. Oh, 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 and I still need to figure out how to get up there, but I... No, because when you jump... What about... No, because when you do that, no, you can't jump there. You just fall off. Oh, well, at any rate, this is inside of the blimp. That's where the armor is. Okay, armor. This be the aerial anvil. Need an armor upgrade? If you need something forged, I'm your fella. <laughs> um... Oh... Final guard, drop half as much gold when you fall in battle. Oh, that's neat. Conjurer's coat, sacrifice some protection for a higher magic limit and harvest magic from defeated foes. Or di di dynamo mail. I wasn't sure if that was D or not. Dot diamond diamond di diamond diamond mail. Perform two consecutive shovel drops to unleash a powerful charge slash. Uh, Mail of Momentum. Heavily plated, keep your footing when struck by enemies, but stopping may be a problem. I don't think I want that. I have enough trouble with the with the jumping as is. Ornate plate. Flashy. Acrobatic. Useless. Ha! So if you really have that much money, you can spend it all on something which doesn't actually help you at all. Uh, drop half as much gold? No. I I'm good. None of this actually looks... Like what I want. Stalwart plate. Your original armor, simple but sturdy. No, I'm good. I am good. None of that actually sounds like it would help me at the moment because the gold... I'm dying so frequently that even if the amount of gold I drop is halved, I don't think it would actually help that much. Uh, let's talk to this person. Shovel Smith. That's a nice shovel blade you have there, lad, but I can improve it. Unlock its true abilities. Uh, so we have charge handle. Hurl hold your attack to unleash a powerful charge slash... Trench blade, dig up a whole pile in one mighty motion, and drop spark. Slash to spark the ground when you're at full health. Eh, uh, hmm. So the only one we can afford is the trench blade, dig up a whole pile in one mighty motion. These actually seem a little bit more useful, so it sounds as though these are things which will stack, so I don't have to swap them out, which makes them a lot more valuable to me. They're permanent improvements. At least that's what it sounds like. I don't know, I could be wrong. Um... Dig up a whole pile in one mighty motion. Is that worth 3,000? Yeah, sure. Why, why not? Let's go ahead and do it. Yep, I'm sure. Yes. And we now have an upgrade. Excellent. How do I see my upgrades? Gear. J. J. Oh, I see. Okay. And shovel. This unusual weapon requires great skill to master. Looks like it worked. At least I think it did. What's over to the left? Go. What is, is that a squirrel? Oh no, it's a dwarf, I think. I think it's a dwarf with a tuba or something. Yopler. Horns, the finest instruments, but they only really come to life in a duet. Ah. Uh, so that's a hint. We need to try and find one of those instruments, I think. What about Chicken Man? Airship Enthusiast. 
I do say, sir, why I haven't seen such a decadent airship since I sold mine. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, yes, indeed. Ho ho. What's down here? Oh, that just takes it. Ooh, that's how we get the music note. Oh, nice. We actually got it. Ba -doo -doo. Let's go find out what it is. I think we have two music notes at this point. Uh, so, let's head back to the town to the Mr. Music Guy and turn him in. Alright. Whoa, you have two music sheets. Magnificent. Take 500 gold for each. Yes, please. Wonderful. Let's see here. Oh, you found the Vital Vitriol. Vital Vitriol. That doesn't sound good. I was feeling uninspired until Plague Knight threw some kind of potion in my face. When I woke up, the song was somehow finished. Yeah. Yeah. Now that I have this music sheet, I can perform it for you anytime. Just ask. So that's the music sheet for, um, uh, that, that's the music sheet for the Explodatorium, I think. Hail, Shovel Knight, hero of music. What can the humble bar do for you today? Play me a song. Play it, Sam. Splendid. What would you like to hear? Ah. Uh... No, not that one. Decisive blow. Okay, where's the one that we just got? Are, are those the ones that are highlighted? So why are some of these highlighted? That must mean that we haven't played them yet. That must be what that is. The vital vitriol, an explosive encounter with an ether-addled alchemical adversary. Let's play it. Yep, that's definitely that music. Uh, La Dance Macabre, even the dead can dance in this desolate land. So this must be the music when we were fighting the, uh, the, um, Reaper Knight? Was that his name? I think. There we go. I really remember this one. We were just recently editing it. 